on Cliff Wagner, the lead singer. On mandolin, we have David Feely. On bass, we have Lucas Cheadle. And on guitar, we have Craig Ferguson. I've been playing bluegrass now for about 30 years. I grew up in Greenwood, Mississippi, and I realized if you played bluegrass, you could be 50 and overweight and ugly, and if you could pick and sing, everybody would still love you. There's always people that are gonna look at us like we've just dropped out of deliverance. But once they hear us, then the uh, opinion changes. All right, you're through to the next round. Just old number seven and me. In the TV show Grizzly Adams, he had his mountain man buddy, and his mule was named the old number seven. The old number seven. I think of uh, a certain uh, liquid from Tennessee. There's the story of the mule, there's the story of the Jack Daniels secret recipe. A lot of people that attend bluegrass festivals would get offended by the Jack Daniels story. So I came up with the mule story. I don't know, I don't care, it's, it's the band. Oh, no. Being a musician is sort of a hard road to hoe. Having four kids, I've had to miss a lot of Little League games and school plays. You know, you gotta work odd jobs. Everything from, you know, dishwasher to carpenter to, you know, some other occupations I don't wanna talk about. <laughs> Band members and I have slept in one room that's no bigger than five by five. Slept in garages to play music. Everybody believes enough in the band to, to make those sacrifices. We feel like at some point we are going to be able to rely on the band for our income. If the Cliff Wagner band was a monarchy, Cliff would be the emperor. I am the guy. I book all the gigs, I do all the advertisement, I write the songs. We can make suggestions and Cliff will just either go, yeah, great idea, and laugh, or just he'll do a little roll of his eyes like, like that. Devitt's kind of my right-hand man. I can always depend on him for whatever we need to do. But you gotta keep him on a short leash. I can be completely silly and over the top, but when it's time to be professional, I know when to shut down. Well, you had some egomaniacs, you know, that looked like a <laughs> Rogers you know, <laughs> but whatever. Dude, just stop right Sit there. Sit me down. Well, the first thing he thinks of just goes Broop, right out of his mouth. Oh, jeez. I'm very lucky that everyone else is a little more subdued. Uh. <laughs>